guys hello we back we back we back um sorry i've been away for so long but i am extremely busy i'm a really busy busy woman but i actually love talking to my dog so i'm back and i want to give you guys more information about how i snatched my stomach i'm going to replay some of my previous videos because i am getting a lot of same a lot of the same questions i guess pe people can't find the video because it's so far down um but it's really really important but wait 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 first please everybody please like comment and subscribe i love when you like comment and subscribe um just a heads up if you're negative y'all know if anybody know me and anybody follow my journey i don't do negativity so if you're negative you don't even have to worry about a response back i'm just gonna block you that's that's just how we do it i know it's a lot of negative people on this earth but guess what i'm not one so i love great and i know that everybody i always encourage my women i always encourage my kings and hey you be the best you don't let nobody else tell you how good you are okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into the video on how i snatch my waist after my bbl but i do want to put a few things in because a, a, a lot of people are asking about my actual faha okay so my, my faha i did get from snatch bands i love snatch bands once again i am an affiliate for snatch bands but let me please explain i was not a affiliate first okay i was a affiliate second after i found out that these work <laughs> and not only did snatch bands garments work but it gives you two in one. So they, they have a lot of options where you get the waist trainer and you get the and and you get the actual faha. So that's that's just more for my money. Um, and you just get more and you can use it farther in life. So even when you stop wearing your faha, you still got a nice waist trainer that you will always love to keep on training that waist. Because even when you start working out, you definitely want to keep training that waist because it's it's your ways do what it want to do y'all it really, really matter of fact i got one of my snatch bands on now and even if you just walk around the house you just not doing nothing go ahead and put it on just go ahead and put it on i'm so used to my little snatch band i i, I just promise i promise you but you gotta understand what a what a snatch band is because they have actual waist trainers but they also have this one here which is the actual snatch band and I do want everybody to understand exactly what the snatch band does for number one. What the snatch band does, so if you get the exquisite, I think it's the exquisite, and I think now it's the 2021 uh, no compression on butts and hip garment too, um, that you get these garments, uh, well, you, you get the uh, snatch band. So what I want you to understand is that the snatch band has one job. It has one job, and it's to give you your shape right in here. So if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but if you get, it gives you your shape right up in here. So everybody wants that curve, but so right in that curve is where it makes the shape. You gotta understand what I'm saying. So if, if you are SpongeBob, right, and you're down, you're gonna need something to make that curve. So what you wanna do is when you do get the snatch band, you wanna make sure that that, that curve um, is snatched because that's the prime center part that makes your shape. Okay. So that's what the actual snatch band does. Okay. But if you need more coverage in other places, then you would definitely need the, I think it's called the two for one Betty, which is basically, they give you the triple waist trainer, uh, where it, it covers your full stomach, which is really, really good y'all. Cause I have that one too. And baby, when I tell you, it don't move. And if y'all see anybody else who knows about snatch bands, they know that that Betty 04, with that, it's, it's like a two for one. But the Betty 04, that waist trainer is a beast, baby. I mean, it's a beast. It, you ain't moving. <laughs> you ain't moving. So what I am saying, but they have a lot of new products out that's really, really good too. I'm going to I'm gonna be doing a... Um, a uh, try on haul of their waist trainers, of their new waist trainers, and what the difference are. And I'm gonna also be doing a uh, Faha try on haul and what the difference are and why it's so important to make sure that you have your waist trainer as well. Um, 
So let's go ahead and get on to how I basically snatched my stomach after surgery. So right after surgery uh, with Dr. Dobak, I love Dr. Dobak. Mm -hmm. All my love goes to Dr. Dobak. Um, she, did, he, she did me well. She did me very, very well. Um, but what I can say, excuse me. Y'all, you know what? I just ate. And that's another reason. Keep your snacks very on when you eat because you won't eat as much. Because I promise you, girl, I was eating and I was like, ooh, ooh I'm full. I, I can't eat no more. But um, so after I came out of my uh, BBL 360, number two, um, they put me in a file that was extremely, extremely big. And, uh, if, and, and if you already had a BBL, you guys understand that sometimes it feels like your body is like... Uh, falling off for you like some it's, it's, it feels so funny and you really want to keep that that faha on because it feels you, you, your body just feels funny because you have had lipo everywhere so everything is still working everything is trying to connect back together and get everything right um but the faha was just too big like i am literally right now in like a medium uh and they have it like in a 2x so I could fit that faha actually over, actually over my jeans. And I was like, this is not going to work. So actually what happened was I already, I had already got my snatch bands, uh, faha for, um, my second stage because once you get out, you, you know, you have a lot of leakage and, and y'all that's, that's not blood. It's, it's a fluid that actually comes out that uh helps drain you because you have to be drained so that's why they leave those wounds open so what i did was i needed compression so i went on and switched over to my snatch bands compression actually that next day so the next day that i got out of the hospital because they require you to stay in the hospital for one day so that next day i went on and um put my snatch band faha on now once you um a lot of people say, okay, so when do you wrap, right? Because, y'all, I never use the the uh, foam boards. I never use the foam boards. And uh, I can't say that I don't recommend them because a lot of doctors do say, hey, get you some foam boards. But what I do know from experience, I had a tummy tuck back in 2011. And when they do lipo in your stomach, the stomach doctors, okay, your tummy tuck doctor, they put you in a tummy tuck wrap, okay? And when they put you in a medical tummy tuck wrap, it helps shape you, it gives you the compression for your stomach, it gives you everything that you need. So I didn't need the foam boards, and, and the foam boards are so, 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 just not comfortable, because I had I used them on my first round. And um, so what I did this particular time was I wrapped my stomach with, with the tummy tuck board, which you can get that on Snatch Fans too. And if y'all do, y'all, help you know represent for your girl represent for your girl you can use my code boss lady seven uh boss lady and it's the number set seven you can get my code and i think it's like i think it's like 20 to 15 to 20 percent off i'm not sure but you can use it represent for your girl um but you can wrap yourself with the tummy tuck binder uh which you will see in just a minute here um on exactly how I did did it. So I so actually, but you do not want to put your tummy tuck binder on when your wounds are still open. So if you're still leaking, y'all know you get a lot of fluids and things like that. If you're still leaking, then don't. Just just keep your faha on um, with the compression. Okay, don't don't let it go ahead and leak out. Let your wounds go ahead and heal. Y'all go ahead and pamper those wounds and let them go ahead and close up. Now, when they close up, which should be about, I guess, that next week, you want to go ahead and you want to start wrapping yourself immediately. This is what I did. I started wrapping myself immediately, um, and I put, I got, I put my, my, well, I put my board in. Okay, so actually, how about this? I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it, and here it go, right here. Then you want to get this type of board here because it covers here. Um, it goes all the way over. It just gives you a really good shape too. Um, so this is a different type of, type, type of board. Um, I'm also going to show you this band here. 
Now this band here is actually what they use when women have tummy tucks. And when they have tummy tucks, they wrap them in their stomach and they gotta keep this on for several months. Several months, 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 months. Because it, after you get the tummy tuck, it actually helps shape your stomach with the, with the compression and because it got your stomach really going in. So this is a tummy tuck wrap, okay? You can get these there. Don't snatch me, too. Um, but I'm gonna start showing you actually how to actually do it. Now, I do wanna say one thing too, that I had a question that a young lady asked, do you wear your, uh, do I need to wear a t-shirt under here? Yes, wear your t-shirts. And because it's only because like, I don't have one on now because of the simple fact that I don't have to wear these all the time now. Um, so I just take, put it on and off and when I get ready. Um, but if you don't want the marks, and some sometimes some women have these so tight that um, it, it leaves, like, burn marks. Like, so you definitely want to put your, your T-shirt on under here. Um... And then your marks here. So you don't want all these marks all on your stomach. And sometimes they stay there. Like it stayed there for a long time. Because when I went to the Dominican Republic, I had a really, really, really tight faja on. And it actually left me with these burn marks. And it stayed on there for like, oh my God, I think about three, four months. And, and it was just like, and it was irritable. And it was just a lot. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to take this off here and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to actually do um, when you are putting your uh, Fahan things on. So, what I did first is you put your t-shirt on. So, when you put your t-shirt on, like a white beetle or whatever, uh, something that's kind of fitting to your actual body. Uh... You're going to get your tummy tuck wrap. And if you can, if, if, if you have somebody um, that can help you pull it as tight as, as tight as it can, then please get somebody to actually help. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to show you how I put it on, and um, then we'll go to the next step. Okay, guys. So I got my tummy tuck wrap on. So you get somebody to help you, and you get it wrapped as much as you can get it as tight as you can because you want that compression in replace of the actual foam boards because this actually to me does a hell of a lot better job okay so you wrap your whole stomach from top to bottom wrap your whole stomach and make sure it's really 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 tight okay then now don't please remember keep your t-shirt on under it because you don't want those marks and, and things keep your t-shirt on so you got your actual wrap on now Make sure it's tight. Now you're gonna pull your faja or your shaper, depending on what you're actually doing, and you're gonna button it all the way up. Okay, so now that you are actually buttoning it up, now when you get about halfway, you definitely wanna put your uh, butt board in. So when you get about halfway, make sure you go and you put your, your butt board in. Okay, now after that, you want to uh, make sure that it's all the way up. Okay, and then once you get it up, you're going to take your board. Now, you're not going to go in the waist trainer, and you can if you like, but if you like, then you have somebody to you put the board down and then have them wrap around the board. But how I did it is I put the board on, a, on the uh, in between the band and the actual uh, faja. So let's put the board there. <clears throat> so we're gonna put the board there, right? And now we got our board, okay? So now with this board here, this is still, now you still got your really, really, really good compression here. You got your compression here, right? So you checking out your, your compression because your, your uh, now if you have compressions uh, from your, uh, uh, tummy tuck band, then you really don't have to worry about those foam boards, okay? Um, but you definitely want to use your boards because it's really important. Really important, okay? So now that you have your board in, okay? So you got your board in, great. Let's go ahead and 
put everything up, put everything up. Okay, you've got everything in. Now, you're gonna take your snatch band, okay? You're gonna take your snatch band, and what you're gonna do, let's see here. You wanna wrap your stomach. You know, I put mine way over, over here because I like to pull mine extremely, extremely tight. So I put it way over here and I just get a good pull and I go around extremely tight. Woo! Now you rocking a tight stomach and a really tight waist. Okay, so you actually got two bands on, but if you see, you, you, you see them curves already coming in. Them curves is already come, 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 coming in. And the more you wear, wear it, the longer you can keep it on. And I'm not saying keep it on all day, all night, because this can get extremely tight around your waist. But you want to, if you want to keep compressing your waist in, you definitely want to be able to uh, make sure that you wear it tight. Um, make sure you sleep in it. That's really, really important. Go to sleep in them. If, if, if you can't, then okay, but it's, it's, it's a lot more better. You get better results if you sleep in them. Because, you know, at, at, at night is when your body just start forming back and all your body just start going back to your normal size and you don't got all that food on you and this, this, and this. So if you could sleep on it, that'd be extremely, extremely good. Make sure you eat in it. When you eat in it and you feel yourself getting full, oh, it's definitely going to let you know, like, nah, you can't eat no more <laughs> because it's going to be, it's going to say, nah, but it actually helps you drop that weight in your stomach. So, I mean, it's, it's just really, really, really good. Um, work out in it if you have the chance. You might not be, be able to use your board when you work out, but take take the board out, keep your wraps in, keep, keep your snatch band on, and go work out. Um, and just keep it on as long as you can. Um, the importance of it is just to keep it on. Um, I want everybody to understand that they're telling you to wrap yourself for a reason. And it's just not just for the compression and making sure that you don't get blood clots. Because believe it or, no, or not, people that have had um, tummy tucks and things, they only wrap their stomach. Because it's, it's to actually shape it. You got to keep it pressed in. You got to keep it, got to keep it com compressed. I had to wear, I had a tummy tuck back in, I think like 11 years ago. And uh, 11, 12 years ago, yeah, I've done jacked it up and did all type of stuff. Um, but what I did have to do is I had to wear a tummy tuck band for a year. So as I wore that for a year, when I took my 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 uh, band off, um, my stomach was shaped just like I had it wrapped. So anybody that's having lipo um, or anything in, in that factor, um, you want to just keep it wrapped. So keep it wrapped. Don't put a lot of compression on your butts and on your hips if that's what you're getting um, because it's, it's, it's just really important. And these um, um, waist trainers here, they have, and as I told y'all before, you know, they have breathable butts. Um, some of them have, have stretchable. Some of them have breathable, but they all work good. So if you are, as, as far as just the, Board part, the hard boards are really important. Foam, just my opinion and through my experience, eh, I can really care less about that because I use the tummy tuck wrap. 